Hay sushi, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿De veras? De todo ahí. Oh, fue, fue, fue un chiste, pero, like, wow, hay sushi. <laughs> Yeah, let's go find some. Let's go find it. The Japan hunting. The what? Japan hunting. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just a joke. God. Bolivia, just as a country, has a lot of variety in the um, population that's living here. Um, like there are indigenous people, there are people like who have European heritage, um, people with of all kinds of different cultures. Um, but something really interesting is that two hours north east of Santa Cruz, there's a community of Japanese people. What are it? A cinco. A cinco? Vale. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué? ¿Qué? Naranja. 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 Vale. Cinco. Cinco también. Te bendiga, mía. Gracias. Gracias. Vos igual. What did he buy? What, why did you decide to buy it? Because it's a naranja and I want like some good fruit. And I was curious what that black thing was. It's a Go Gorilla Go. Okay. Resiste Mas. And it feels like it has stuff inside of it. Like when, oh. I, when I move it, it feels like there's stuff like banging around. Kind of cool. Have fun with that one. I'll just, I'll leave it down there. Sorry, you were saying Okinawa. So as I was saying, um, Okinawa is uh, a community of Japanese people. Now, the natural question to ask is, what are a bunch of Japanese people doing in like the middle of Bolivia? You know, the co the country in the middle of South America. Like it all, it just seems so random. Well, apparently, like, and I don't know the full story, but from what I understand, um, after World War II, when there was a lot of just anti-Japanese sentiment. They, uh, they found solace in Bolivia and uh, so they set up a little community here and they say that it's the wheat capital of, uh, of Bolivia. So um, yeah, they're, they're Japanese Bolivians. I'm so glad we have a Jeep. Why are they so hot? Who knows? <laughs> and then oh, you got so horses. Yeah. Maybe so we don't hit the horses. Mm. This is Pueblo life. Right over here. Literally like a 20 minute drive from uh, from the center of the city. Oh, there's the their distillery for one of the beers that they make. Um, it's such an interesting contrast because like, see you have like agricultural places where they're like, they're, they're doing um, like ranches where they have horses and cows and goats and that kind of thing. And then you have like distilleries and you have like furniture stores and cafes and all kinds of things. Um, yeah, it's an interesting mix of everything out here. Like suddenly the road is smooth. Like not super bumpy like it was before. I don't know if they just redid this road or something and that's why it's nice. But uh, I like it. it. Seems like they have a lot of industry out in this part. Impressive actually. It's like a full on complex. Oh, it smells like rice or something. Valentine's trying the gorilla drink. Oh, all well, going over some crazy. Terrain. He picked the best time to suddenly want this drink. Sleep more. 
So I figured, I had a feeling it was some kind of energy something. Stimulating drink. Yeah, like I definitely feel like this is gonna give me like, because whenever I drink Red Bull, I get like very like uh, awake and almost super caffeinated. And like I feel my heart beat like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this will probably do it for you. Thank you. Thanks, Valentine. There's tissues. Yeah, in the back. So forget what I was saying earlier about how the roads are super smooth. Um, that has just completely changed. It's been like pothole after pothole. This is actually a good streak of no potholes. But there was a part back there where it was just all potholes, like more potholes than road. Like here we got like something coming up. Like a gazelle, like jumping, like. Have you engaged the four-wheel drive? 
No, should we? I don't know, maybe. But yeah, let's do it. Let's engage the, the four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive wait, or four-wheel drive wait. L? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. He said, put it into park. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold gear. I felt the I felt the engine like yeah. start up. Okay, now we have four wheels going, and then I don't know what the four wheel L is. Maybe that's he said that's the extra four wheel mode. I don't know. I don't know if we need to like go there yet. But nice. Let's try the four wheel drive. Yeah, that might this. be better. Does it feel better? No, it feels worse. It feels worse. <laughs> oh no. This is another angle. So this is our car, and this is kind of a pretty good sample of what we've been driving through up to now. Super calm, you know, besides like the, the, the road. Everything else is like, like when you get out here, it's like, oh, it's all tranquilo. Like it's not, it's not scary or anything. It's just the roads. I'm not even understanding. Do I drink it? Do I eat it? I think why, you just why is it, it like this? <laughs> like, why is the top part cut off? Yeah. I it's just know. an orange, but another way to enjoy it. Yeah, it's just an orange. Did you think it was gonna be something else? I thought maybe it was cut in some special way, like I open it and I just drink it or something. Like I don't know. I was gonna say I had no idea what He thought magic was gonna happen. Okay. 
derecha. Bienvenidos a Okinawa. And also in Japanese. They got ponds so far. They oh look, look the ranch has a it's named in Japanese. Club wow. de Crazy Pesca. No, Club de Casa y Pesca. Oh. Like hunting oh. and fishing. Yes. They've got like a puente bridge. Little river down below. The weed making facility. Molinera restaurant, Okinawa. Oh, Looks super, super closed. Super closed and abandoned. Coca Cola is alive and well, though. Oh, that's the liquor store. Super Tienda. This side we got agro partners, some car shop, cute little streets honestly. Super cute. Still look rather Bolivian. You feel they look Bolivian? Yeah, like look at the people driving by. So we spotted this market across the street, Maxi Kiosco Uchina. And it's like, it's like the most Japanese looking store we've seen thus far. So we decided to check it out. So I think all of this is made here in Okinawa. Yeah. Disculpa. Todo acá hecho en uh, Okinawa, ¿verdad? De aquí no. Lo traemos de la ciudad de Perú. Ah, pero este dice que ah, es, 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 es la la última cosita. La, la única cosa en este. Eh, sí, eso lo hacen acá. Ya. Yeah. Esto acá, el pipilo y los acaídos. Solo mm. eso. ¿Qué me recomendaría? Estamos, estamos buscando uh, cosas que es de Okinawa. Porque estamos visitando. Yeah. Queremos ver. ¿Qué, qué hacen aquí? Ya, ya, ya. Chipilo. Es lo mismo que la Y eso son puñetes. Y son dulces. Esos son dulces, no sé. Ya tengo. Ay, ok. ¿Quieres dos de estos? Yeah. Ya mantequilla. Ahí got these things. Oh, what they are. Muffins. Cool. Oh, look. You get to have like. You want to get some bao? Bao? Yeah. Did they sell that for you? This is like a wonton. ¿Y dónde esto? Like the Nikuman. Oh, no, no. It's okay. Bueno. Uh, can do? ¿Dónde es? Eso, el ¿Dónde está el restaurante Kendu? Oh, ok. No, eso lo vendemos aquí para congelado. Oh, ok, ok, okay, okay. No entiendo. ¿Hay algún restaurante acá que es japonés? Sí. El único que hay es aquí de esta entrada de la plaza. Sí. La siguiente. Ok. Sobre carretera a este lado. Mm. Ok, Ahí. perfecto. Bueno, y también eso. Y el mercado de... Uh, por, por allá está abierto. Hoy, eh, sí. 
So she said there isn't like a whole lot to see that's like super like cultural. But she did tell us that there was a the only restaurant that's like Japanese in this whole town of Okinawa is this way. And so I think we should definitely check that out. Oh, definitely driving. Who knows how far away that place is, you know? Cruceños. Well, that just goes to show, even if it has a super Japanese sounding uh, name, or even if the name of the supermarket is, in, is Japanese, it still might not be uh, like <laughs> yeah. super Japanese. But anyway, we got some interesting stuff. We've tried these ones before. Um, we were at like a little fair the other day and there were representatives from the town of Okinawa and they brought these things. They're really good. They have ginger on them um, and some sugar and they're just, they're a really great snack. But in addition to those, Valentine got these things. Que tal? Sugar. Mm. Yeah. I figured. They look like little donut balls or something. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Pretty much. A little dry, but mm, really good. They make them here. Do they have any special flavor? They're or very just... hearty. Like, the, they taste like wheat tea. Mmm. Yeah. So not, like, maybe a more complex... Yeah, it feels a little bit more complex. Mm-hmm. And good. And good. Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's, uh, so what do you want to do? Do you want to just drive around a little bit more, see if we can like see anything else before we decide to go to the restaurant? Um, yeah. I think let's uh, let's finish driving through Okinawa and see what see what what we find. But at least we know that there's a a restaurant, you know, like a Japanese restaurant with like tra traditional, hopefully traditional Japanese food. So hopefully we can find um, some things that are more like Japanese Japanese. That would, that would be exciting. But if we don't, you know, this still has been very much an adventure. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah, this is really crazy, I think. Is this a Japanese car? This? Uh, maybe. Hmm. I don't know, I've never seen that one. I've never seen it either. The name sounded Japanese. And it looks so thin. The people here, they don't, like, the people I've seen so far, they could have some Japanese heritage, definitely. But they, it's not like they look like they came straight out of Japan. No, would you agree, babe? Yeah. So far, anyway. So far, yeah. Oh, and another thing. I haven't seen a single Japanese flag um, while we've been here. Which, I guess I was subconsciously kind of expecting to see.
So we're looking for this restaurant that we were told is the last Japanese restaurant in town. We're thinking about asking the locals. Can we ask the boys? You wanna ask the boys? Yeah, I think more boys, more boys. Not always good ones though. It might be bad, but I think the crowd knows how to do it better. So they, they can talk to each other or what? Exactly. Amigos! Tengo una pregunta. Uh, Queremos ir a un restaurante japonés. ¿Qué? ¿En la esquina? Sí. ¿Aquí? Okay. ¿A la derecha? Hay sushi, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿De veras? De todo. Hay. Oh, fue, fue, fue un chiste, pero, like, wow. ¿Hay sushi? <risa> no, hay, hay. Eh. Qué bueno. Ok. Qué bueno. Bien, aquí en la esquina. Gracias. Eh, Ata es ahí. Ata. Ok, bueno. Perfecto. Hay sopa y todo ahí. Ya. Yeah. Y también estoy mirando y miro que... Toda la gente aquí tiene un motociclo. Todo, todo. Y, y, y su madre. ¿La like. moto? Ya, yeah, un moto, ya. Yeah. Interesante. Bueno. ¿Quería pasar en moto? ¿Yo? Ah. No. Uh, no, like. no, como pregunta que todos tienen moto. Ya. Yeah. ¿Y también la gente tiene coches? ¿O, like, prefiere el moto? Eh, hay igual movilidad, moto. Ya. Yeah. Igual, ya, yeah, igual, y no, y, y, no necesita tomar cosas, ¿no? Like, grandes, entonces. Llevar. Hay, hay llevar cosas, like, como transportar algo, ¿no? ¿Camiones grandes? Ah, oh, entonces tiene camiones grandes, sí. bueno. <ríe> Entonces, gracias. Ya, Gracias, chicos. Ok, en la esquina. Perfecto. Oh, ah, okay, sí? okay. La, la dueña, wow. La dueña, <laughs> gracias. Should we say hi to her? Mm, maybe. No. So this chick walking is the uh, she's the owner of the Japanese place that the guy just said. It's right on the corner here. What did he say the name was? Akina. Akina? Yes. Something started with an I, A. Uh, wow. I know I was joked. I was like, "Hey, do you like? Do they probably have sushi, huh?" And he was like, "Yep, yeah, they got sushi." Like, not even kidding at all. He's like, "Yeah, they got sushi." <laughs> We're like, "What the hell?" Yeah. Okay, I don't think it's this one. No. Hamburguesa, please. Uh... There it is. Where? Japanese looking oh. thing. Oh. Yeah. I hope it's open. Oh, well, no, okay, I'm gonna open it. Ooh. Well, I'm super excited. Alright. My milkshake brings on the. The song that Valentine chooses to sing. Should we knock on the door? Yeah, that's right. Or just try opening it, honestly. close to me. Yeah. Man, that's so sad. Sushi is 
Yeah, there's a table in there and stuff like that. So, the Dwayne, I just went home. Should we do a go try to catch her? No. Hey, come back here. We want you to cook sushi for us. Yeah, I know. That's so sad. But maybe if she wants business. I don't know. Nope, I don't think so. It looked super Japanese and everything. Should we do it anyway? <laughs> you want to go chase her? Like, kind of. Okay, let's go. Let's go chase her. Maybe she can like, maybe we can tell her like we'll pay her extra for making us something simple, I don't know. Like we're hungry. Yeah. And this guy's like walking over. Mm -hmm. He looks Japanese as fuck. Oh yeah, he totally does. He's moving the cone. Oh, he's moving the cone. Gracias. Tengo una preguntita. Ah, tengo una preguntita. Sí. Uh, Hay un restaurante japonés aquí. Ese era el único. Esa es la única. No, solamente atiende al mediodía. Mediodía, ok, bueno. Oh. De noche. <risa> bueno, eh, ok, pero no, no hay ese. Pero, no, no. Pero so, so, solamente es para atiende al mediodía. Cool. Ok. Qué okay, lástima. Vale. Ya. Yeah. Gracias. Super chill. <laughs> Man, I can't believe there's only one Japanese restaurant in this entire town. I'm shocked. Mm. I'm actually shocked. And they only do lunch. And they only do lunch. All right, so now we're going to a restaurant, this chicken place that Valentine spotted on the way in. Pollo Oscar. Ready? Yep, ready. Hola! ¿Podemos sentarnos? ¿Podemos sentarnos? Gracias. ¿Acá? ¿Acá? ¿Tienen pollo? Pollo. Ah, okay. Solo pollo. Al espiedo y al abrazo. Ok, bueno. Uh, yeah. Para mí, al abrazo. Uh, abrazo. Piedra, pero para mí. Cuarto económico. Ah, uh, económico para mí. Yo también. No, no mucho. Yeah. ¿Y uh, like, hay like, arroz o algo? ¿Cómo? Like, ¿Arroz o, o con qué? Like, uh, El pollo se viene. La papa. Okay, okay, perfect. Perfect. Y uh, tienes algo para beber? Tenemos Coca-Cola, Fanta Spray, Trophy. ¿Agua? Uh, Agua. Sin gas. Sin gas. Perfecto. Okay. Quiero Coca-Cola. Popular, de litro, de dos uh, litros. No, like... Personal? Personal. ¿El agua igual? Ya. Yeah. I'm gonna get a Coca-Cola. And a chicken because Evo Morales said that it's gay. Ese chico. And you wanna be do you wanna turn gay? I'm down to explore. <laughs> that straight face though. What I love is that there are like chickens eating outside of the chicken place. Valentine said they don't know 
Valentine said they're basically playing with fire. Okay, don't they see like the bunch of their basically them right there roasting being, roasting on a stick? Just spinning around. <laughs> Maybe they can't recognize that those are their friends. Not, that's not gonna help them. Oh, okay. Hey. This is the one you take for me, Nairi. Como kimchi or something? Wow. Yeah, like the pork salsa. It's más como una salsa. Is it like? It's like a yeah salsa, like a. Oh. It is kind of like a kimchi. You're right. Interesting. Yeah. I've really not seen this yet in Bolivia. This is an Okinawa special. Awesome. You gotta drink your straight agua. Oh, here they come. Yeah. Wow. Gracias. Awesome. All right, so we got the chicken with the rice and platano, fried platano, and French fries as well. And she <laughs> also brought this um, this salsa, like some kind of sauce. Yeah, it looks like a salsa. But I don't know if it's picked out there or not. But we can find out. Uh, <laughs> uh, it looks like Emily's is fried and then mine is not fried. Oh. Mine's roasted. I did not know that that was the difference. Me neither. I thought I was asking for a leg versus a pecho. Versus, yeah. So but did I. <laughs> you want to switch? Sounds like we're going to switch. Yeah, we're switching. All right, let's switch. <laughs> All right. I love KFC. <laughs> I grew up eating it. Okay, manja, manja. Wow, oh, that was hot. I know, right? It's oh. really hot. It's super hot. El Diablo. It doesn't look that bad though. But man, it's spicy. Mm. I'm definitely gonna put some of this. On like, on what? Uh, I don't know, nice. but nice. the rice. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. I like their Okinawa kimchi. That's what I'm calling it, Okinawa kimchi. It's like pickled um, onions and peppers. It's really good. I recommend you try it. You got ketchup. Ketchup. Brixi. Never seen that brand before. Mostaza. Mustard. Mayonnaise. And mayonnaise is the green one. I'm gonna put some ketchup there. And I'm assuming that these two. Or this looks like salt. This one is not pepper. It's a uh, little picks for your teeth, babe. Oh, great. Uso obligatorio de barbijo. Cuídate. And maintain distance. Another mask sign, another mask sign, another mask sign. And a huge, like, a huge barrier. Yeah, I think it's pretty rare that, to see, like, mask signs like you know required mask signs in, uh, in smaller towns in smaller rural areas usually like as soon as you go away from the city they're like we don't care about that stuff like bug it. yeah you know but here we're in we're in like two hours away from any from the major city god, through, god knows what and in bolivia in bolivia and they got you know like they're supportive and they're conscious of, masks. of like yeah they're supportive of masks. Hey, Russo. Hey, Russo. 
estadounidense. Gracias. Fuimos acá a Okinawa porque dicen que hay muchas personas japonesas que viven acá. Hay. Pero hay lo que pasa que acá los japoneses están retirados casi un poco. ¿Ya? La segunda es a veces hay japonesa y más japonesa. La tercera también. Aquí hay una cuantita, ¿no? Que son pero la casa a veces allá atrás es más de japonés. Entonces es, viven más lejos del centro. Sí, más lejito que el ah, ruido okay. de movilidad parece que molesta ahí. Ah, oh, bueno. Oh, le molesta. Mm. Ah. Ya, ¿verdad? Es muy japonés. ¿verdad? Ya le da el ruido. Ah, ah. Ya, eso es. Pero son muy familiar, buenos ¿no? ellos. Uno puede charlar con ellos. Pues. ¿Ah, sí? Son... Los ahora ya entienden más español. Ah, ok. Mm. Eh, de antes, poco. Sí. Sí. Así que pueden nomás. Por ahí contar. ¿Quieres? Sí, yeah, vamos a ver. Sí, pueden. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ya. Por allá atrás de esta calle, aquí, una cuadra. Allá. Acá hay japonés también. Al frente también, aquí. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuántas cuadras? De aquí Padre. entra usted una cuadra ya. y media cuadra a este lado hay un japonés. Ok, perfecto. Eh, Maikiro. Maikiro. Ah, Maikiro. Ahí hay un Más allá, hay otra casa aquí. También hay otro. Quiero un Hugo. Hugo. ¿Qué ha venido? En el Cagua, ¿no? Sí, <risa> Ok, entonces vamos. Ya, vamos a ver. Cuando guste no vamos a poder venir para acá. Gracias. ¿Ya? Gracias. Para ¿Qué es bonito? No. No. Te dejo para ti. Oh, gracias. Gracias. Que le vaya bien. No, my nothing. No quiero nada, especially not the coke. So they told us that we can go find the Japanese people. Yeah, let's go find some. Let's go find them. Let's go Japan hunting. The what? Japan hunting. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just a joke. God. So we took the Bolivian woman from the chicken restaurant's advice. And now we are passing through the smaller roads. Off the main street. In search of the Japanese. As we were driving around some of the smaller streets, kind of off of that main road, we did see some suspiciously Japanese looking homes, but since the sun was setting and it was just getting late, we didn't really feel like disturbing these random families. We just decided to drive by and make our way back to Santa Cruz. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and thought it was interesting to see a little bit of Japan in kind of an unexpected place in the center of South America. I thought Okinawa was pretty, you could tell it was pretty assimilated, you know, since the original people that came from Japan moved there. But it was pretty cool that they have a restaurant that actually serves sushi and traditional Japanese dishes, and just to kind of see like Japanese characters written everywhere. But you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what you thought about what you saw in Okinawa in this video. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of Bolivia's less talked about side. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.